Publishing Rescuing Hope gave me the opportunity to speak up for those who couldn't speak for themselves. Rescuing Hope is a fictional book based on factual interviews that took place in Metro Atlanta with survivors, traffickers, drug dealers, law enforcement, and frontline responders. I first heard about the issue of sex trafficking in America from Mary Frances Bowley. She's the founder of Wellspring Living, which is a restorative care program for minors. She shared statistics and piqued my interest. And after having lunch with her, I asked her, where's the weakness? Where's the link that needs shearing up in this fight? And she said, raising awareness, that people don't know that this happens right here, and they don't know that children are at risk in America. So I decided I needed to know more because these weren't numbers to me, these were actual people. They would talk about their stories just with a complete blank stare and no emotion whatsoever. They'd been so traumatized. They talked about being raped for pay 30 times a night. They had been completely destroyed inside. They were hollow and I wanted to put that light back in their eyes. I wanted to give them hope. And I knew one way to do that was to tell their story so people would pay attention. I had no earthly idea how to write a book. This was an adventure that I tried to run from because I didn't want to do it. I knew I wasn't a natural born writer. I'm not like one of those authors that started from elementary schools pinning stories. I honestly got the download of the storyline in church one Sunday. I felt like I was called out of the worship service to take my journal and go sit in the foyer, and I just started writing down what was coming to mind. I emailed those notes to Mary Frances Bowley of Wellspring Living and said, is this even remotely accurate? Um, if it is, I'll keep pursuing it. If it's not, then I'm done. And she said, keep writing. You've just outlined the story of a girl that was rescued two weeks ago. My sister-in-law challenged me when I was writing this book. And she said, Susan, if you speak in a room, you impact the people sitting there. But if you write a book, you can impact the world. Mm -hmm.